All right, what's happening, everyone? Um, I'm putting together a quick tutorial, and we're going to kind of really simply touch on um, the benefits and the downfalls of compression versus over compression. Okay, so compression is designed to kind of help fill out a voice in our case. So we're going to be just dealing with vocal dialogue. Um, so compression is designed to kind of fill that out so it's not so drastic. And you can see in this first clip right here, this is a perfect example. The voice starts out real big, then gets smaller, then gets smaller, and then gets smaller. As we run out of breath, our voice gets softer and softer. So compression is a good way to even those out, level them, balance them, especially when you throw a music bed under it. It really helps with that too, uh, to kind of make the whole thing have a good nice full sound and feeling to it. Okay, so let's jump right in. This is raw audio from Gary, a student of mine. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. Gary's been working with uh, some different filters and compression and EQ and things like that, uh, which I think is great because that's what we should be doing, trying to figure out what's good for our own voice. I think that he might be over compressing some of this stuff. Uh, so here's the first way that uh, he does it, and he uses several different filters, including EQ, uh, including EQ and uh, some presets. So let's listen. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. So it sure fills it out. You can see that. But I think it kind of also over compresses it and it kind of makes it sound tinny. Let's listen again. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. Here's the first, the without compression. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. So I feel like that's just too much compression. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Um, by breaking that up. So he used something that is called a uh, vocal enhancer, uh, the male version, and you find that under effects, and you go down to special, then you go to vocal enhancer, and it gives you the option male, female, or music. He was selecting male and adding that. Okay, so that's where he was doing that. Then he was also going to EQ, and in his parametric equalizer, he said he bumped up he was bumping up the low end by 10 dB. So that's how he was doing that. And it kind of added too much. And then, of course, he normalized it afterward. It was adding too much, I think. And I think what the deal is, is most of these vocal enhancers uh, actually have a bass roll-off on it. So when you're a bass roll-off, literally kind of gradually just pulls down the bass end. So it's kind of acting against itself. You do the vocal enhancer uh, with a bass roll off, then you boost the bass in the EQ and it's kind of like you're working against yourself. And that's where this you are listening to kind of echoey tinny sound I think comes from. So let's take the EQ off and just use the vocal enhancer with normalization. This is what it sounds like with the EQ gone. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. So it sounds better. Listening to College Radio. You are listening to College you definitely lose that echoey tinny sound, kind of like uh, you're recording, I don't know, in a bathroom or something like that. College Radio's Best 89.9. I think there's better. I think there's more that can be done. There's actually a different vocal enhancer in here. If you go to Effects and you go to EQ, which one is it? Is it Parametric? And then you click on this. Yes, it is. There's a vocal enhancer under Parametric Equalizer. You click it. See, look, this is the bass roll-off right here. So this doesn't give you the option of male or female. Uh, but look, it actually pushes the high end up too. And so that's how you get to that. You go to Effect. You go to EQ, you go to parametric, and then it's in your parametric preset. So this is the vocal effect, the vocal EQ enhancer with normalized. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. So it sounds maybe even a little bit better than this one. You are listening to College You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. And it's really because it does push some of that high end up, uh, which is kind of needed. Uh, we call that the treble. But I th still think there's more stuff that we can do. So this one has a single band compressor, this one right here. Single band compressor with normalization. So let's go into uh, amplitude and compression. We're going to go down to single band compressor with some normalization. Here's what it sounds like. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. Maybe you kind of lose some of that leveled out balance. It's not nearly as full as these vocal EQs, but it might sound a little bit better on the EQ range itself. I don't know. Uh, and so let's listen to another one. 
a hard limiter uh, preset, negative six, plus normalization. So to get to that, you go to effects, you go to amplitude compression, you go to hard limiter, and then this is just a preset in here negative six. What this does, anything over negative six, it cuts it down at negative six. Then anything under negative six, it bumps it up three decibels. So it really fills it out. So that's how you get to that. Let's listen to it. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. Well, that's really not bad at all. That does a good job of balancing that out. Let's listen to the first two before it. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. I know, we're really just splitting hairs with this stuff, too. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. Okay, so that probably does a better job. You can see that the waveform is more balanced than the waveform right here, especially the raw audio up here. But the one that I use for all my voice work, uh, typically all my voiceover work, unless something calls for something specifically different, I use a few presets in here. Uh, and of course, I do a noise reduce on all of this before I start. So this one right here, I go to Effects, Amplitude Compression, single band compressor, and then a preset that they have in here is the voice leveler. So I like using that one too. Um, and when you use this, it really does a good job of cutting it down and chopping it down quite a bit. And then you just throw some normalization on there, and this is what it sounds like here. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. It's not that different from the hard limiter, but it's different enough that I feel like it fills out the voice that much better. At least it does with mine. So here's the real tale of the tape. Let's listen to it with some music underneath. All six of them, or all seven of them. Let's check it out, including raw audio to start. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. 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 Okay, so listen. I know it is what it is. A lot of these sound really close to the same as each other. But this all comes down to personal preference. But if you also have a project for a client, you have to remember it's not only your personal preference. It also belongs to them, too. So if you're getting paid to do this or this is part of your job and you have to put things together, you have to meet expectations. So if this sounds good to you, you are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9 and you like it, that is fantastic. But if you have things that are required by your client, then you might need something that's a little cleaner like this. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. Remember, EQ is a dance. Compression is a dance. You have to do it uh, where it makes sense and it works. And it really, truly is trial and error. So don't get discouraged. Just keep practicing. If you have any questions, call, text, email. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot.